feels like uh, 2024 will probably be the lowest that they will be, you know, maybe for the next year or two. I thought rates were going to be a little higher for longer. And in some ways, you know, I uh, I would have actually encouraged that because that's what felt a little more natural. Mm -hmm. You know, we were, I keep saying we were at 8% three months ago, and now we're down to about six and a half. That's a pretty big uh, jump, you know, very quickly. So that's great for me personally, and as far as buying and selling homes and my clients, but will that be good for the long-term health of the economy? We shall see. Yeah. Where do you think interest rates need to be at to really get the market back up and humming again? I think if we get into the high fives, that is going to be a real breakthrough. You know, we got when we were at seven and now into the high sixes, that brought in uh, another section of buyers. And if we get that into the low sixes or high fives, I think things will really start to move again. And, you know, we're already seeing multiple offers in a lot of different price points and, you know, different cities. It's just it's going to make housing more affordable and it's going to bring more buyers out into the market again. What's that going to do? It's going to push the prices back up. So one of the things I do see happening or could see happening in 2024 is all of the gains that we lost in 2022. I think there's a really good chance we make those up in 2024. I think that there's a lot of people that put a pause, you know, in late 2022 and throughout 2023 on what they were going to do. They wanted to see what happens. And now that we're, you know, finding a little more stability, I think we can see, you know, we can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Thankfully, it's not a train. Hope it's not a train, <laughs> right? Um, that you'll have some people, there's a little bit of pent up uh, demand to sell. And I think that they'll see that there's enough, uh, you know, that there's enough positivity out there for them to go ahead and do something. So somebody who, you know, wanted to sell, but, you know, just put it on pause. Uh, I think that they might be entering the market, you know, as well. Have you seen a slowdown? One of the first things we ever talked about when we had you on was the number of people moving to red states or, mm -hmm. you know, more, I don't know, states that were friendlier to their politics. Have you seen that slow down? I have, I've personally seen that slow down as well as, you know, just general talk about it. I mean, there was, there was such a push of people moving around, you know, during the pandemic, you know, 2020 through 2022, I always felt like we pulled forward, like sales from 2023, 24, 25, 26. They just did it those first couple of years. So if somebody was thinking about something, you know, doing, making a move like that, they went ahead and did it, the majority. I mean, I still get some of those calls where those have been some, you know, more long-term plans, but I think the, uh, like the mass exits, um, you know, is mm -hmm. it's it's not going at that speed yeah. that it was. Yeah, people aren't as. I mean, the anger They're, is still there from the pandemic, but it's starting to peter out a little bit. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, depending on the results of the November election, you might see a renewed interest in moving out of state. That's possible. I'm not and, gonna name names, but right. And uh, well, now you know a guy. <laughs>